Hi, in this video we'll show you how to run Panel ARDL in, uh, in Stera. So, uh, Panel D ARDL is a uh, cross-sectional ARDL model in Stera, a methodology that is uh, possible to be run uh, in Stera that have uh, uh, three main indicator to estimate that is uh, that are pin group, pull mean group, uh, mean group and dynamic fixed effect. At the first time you are watching one of my videos, do not hesitate to subscribe and activate the notification bell in order not to lose the next uh, the next videos and uh, let me a thumbs up and be pleasure to know that all the four we are making is uh, helping you improve your level in statistical model for for social sciences. So ARDL model is a uh, methodology that can be uh, run using uh, panel data. So in panel data, uh, in ARDL model, the first step uh, that is not compulsory is to uh, run co-integration test and co-integration test. I'm going to show you uh, the three main co-integration test that is uh, used in, uh, in this data. Uh, let us go in statistics. Uh, Longitudinal panel data, um, integrate data, uh, test for integration. So when I go in test for integration, we see that in data there are uh, three main uh, integration tests that are Cow, Pedroni, and Wester Lens. So uh, the only test that uh, can be run on. Uh, non-balance panel like what we are going to use here is uh, the cow test we have a non-balance balance containing uh, data in macroeconomic uh, indicator uh, like uh, foreign direct investment export uh, gdp uh, gross fixed capital formation import openness economic openness inflation and so on so uh, we'll de use this uh, data set in order to show you how to implement uh, a treatment indicator of, uh, of uh, panel ARDL. So uh, the first step uh, to run the panel ARDL model is to install the package uh, XTPMG. So XTPMG is the package that is used in order to, uh, to run a panel ARDL model. So uh, you need to just uh, use the command ssc uh, install uh, p uh, xtpmg uh, comma replace uh, uh, replace if that is there already there is already a xtpmg package installed in one starter. it will be replaced by the most up to date version most up to date version of uh, package so uh, I already installed uh, XTPMGM in my uh, in my data so I will not do so those but you, if you do you have uh, never uh, install a XTPMG in data you just need to uh, run this command in order to install a XTPMG that is the, uh, the first thing to do so the second step is to step our data to be uh, panel data so I will tap here in command uh, xt set my uh, individual variable is id and my uh, here variable is here uh, is that one so I'll click on ok and you can see that uh, my uh, panel has been uh, so uh, there is a my panel has been generated uh, and time variable uh, run from 1990 to uh, 2018. So my data has been set as panel data. So to uh, run our co-integration tests, especially uh, the cow ones, uh, we use the command xt coins test st uh, coins test for integration test uh, followed by uh, the name of the test that we are going to run it is cow test uh, and the name of uh, variable that we 
we are going to test uh, for point equation. So for this example, I'm going to test the point equation among uh, GDP in current uh, US dollar as a uh, foreign direct investment and economic openness. So that three variable we are going to test for point equation. Then uh, we can select the command and run. And we can see that uh, the result of our cow uh, test for co-integration is now uh, available. There are some statistics that are missing for uh, modified GK Fuller, uh, GK Fuller statistic and augmented GK Fuller statistics. So we just have a statistic for adjusted modified uh, GK Fuller test and uh, adjusted GK Fuller test. And here we have p-value that are uh, less than five percent for uh, augmented decay fuller, uh, augmented modified decay fuller, and adjust decay fuller is a little bit uh, more than five percent. So we can uh, the null hypothesis. The null hypothesis in co-integration test is in cow co-integration test is that there is no co-integration. So. Using, for example, the adjusted modified decay fuller test, we can uh, reject that null hypothesis, meaning that uh, there is a co-integration, the co-integration among our variable. But it's compulsory because in uh, panel ARDL model, uh, panel ARDL model, uh, whatever is uh, poor mean group, uh, mean group, or um, dynamic fixed effect. The method, the, uh, the, the estimation, taking consideration, the long run and the short run equation. So uh, the uh, integration test is uh, is compuls is not uh, compulsory. So we'll uh, uh, after that run the first estimator of uh, panel ARTL, which is uh, the pulling group. So I said uh, earlier that uh, we have uh, three main indicator for. Uh, for the estimation of the uh, panel ARTL, we have uh, poor mean group, we have uh, mean group, uh, we have dynamic fixed effect that uh, correspond, uh, that is similar to what we have, uh, like fixed effect in uh, simple panel data analysis. So we have poor mean group that is uh, close to uh, uh, to poor regression in panel data analysis. So we'll uh, to run our pooling group. We just use the command xt uh, xt pmg. So we have the command xt pmg followed by uh, dif uh, different variable that are GDP, uh, foreign direct investment, and uh, economic openness. Precede by the d dot d dot uh, for uh, that represent the difference, the first difference of uh, our different variable in our pale booming group. Uh, we use uh, different for this for, uh, for our variable and the comma, after the comma we specify the long run equation that just uh, give the relationship in level not in difference among uh, uh, GDP foreign direct investment. Let us notice that uh, the first condition in Panel ARDL is that uh, our variable need to have to be uh, stationary at uh, or uh, first difference stationary. So you need to have a variable that are uh, 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 that can be uh, stationary or first difference stationary. We have both uh, order of co-integration in our variable. We can use ARDL or we can also uh, run ARDL when we have. All variables that are integrated of all the world. So uh, here is a specification of our long run equation LLR. Uh, in parentheses, we have a list of variables that are uh, for this uh, example GDP in current US dollar. We have foreign direct investment and openness for our panel. So replace PMG. Uh, so PMG is uh, the or the poor mean group. So we just select highlight our uh, 
command and then run you can take a little bit of time to, for the estimation for the indicator to converge after one two three uh, zero one two three four iteration so after four iteration we have the result of our booming group in indicator and the uh, booming indicator is uh, estimated here and we can see that the long run relationship uh, is uh, uh, there is a significant uh, foreign direct investment have a long run uh, um, a long run negative impact on the GDP when uh, openness, economic openness, have a positive long-run uh, effect on the GDP. So uh, all coefficients are significant for uh, a short-run relationship. Uh, neither uh, foreign direct investment uh, nor uh, openness is uh, significant at the short run. So uh, the uh, error correction term is significant but not negative as uh, expected. Uh, we can also run our uh, mean group estimator uh, using uh, this. So the only difference in the mean group is the uh, the uh, reserve word. Uh, MG instead of PMG. So we select our command for MG, and we can see that there is a, a error message uh, saying that maximum number of iteration exceed, uh, meaning that our mean group estimated cannot converge. So we'll uh, try the dynamic fixed effect uh, estimator. We have our dynamic fixed effect. We will just uh, replace the uh, name of estimator by TFE for dynamic fixed effect then click on run and our dynamic fixed effect model has been run and you can see that in the uh, long run relation that is the, uh, the relation that is up here uh, the foreign direct investment is uh, can be significant only at the 10 percent level because the p-value is 0, 0, 0.07 so seven percent uh, negative and openness have a uh, rather negative impact on the GDP, but the effect is not significant uh, in the short run we have uh, not uh, significant effect at five percent level uh, only uh, the error correction uh, term that is significant we have uh, economic openness that can be significant at 10 percent and have a negative uh, short run uh, effect on the gdp so on another thing that we can do is to run a horseman test as in a simple panel to see if, whether or not uh, there exists a what is the better model among uh, the, the, the different indicator, uh, um, mean group, uh, mean group, or dynamic fixed effect? So we notice that uh, our model uh, mean group, uh, our mean group indicator does not converge. So we'll test uh, among uh, poor mean group and uh, dynamic fixed effects. So we'll use the Hosman test for uh, dynamic fixed effect. Uh, notice that for dynamic fixed effect we need to use uh, capital letter because it's very sensitive in the program the programming in Stella the uh, the reserve word that we use were in capital letter so if you don't put it in capital it will not uh, run so uh, dynamic fixed Hausmann dynamic fixed effect the booming group uh, sigma more is the, uh, the option here so we select our Hausmann test and then run so the p-value of our uh, Hausmann test is uh, more than five percent so here the consistent uh, our model that is supposed to be the good model here is a dynamic fixed effect so we uh, just uh, um, reject the null hypothesis 
meaning that here, the moral that is uh, the, the question that is uh, consistent on the uh, under the null hypothesis is uh, is the coefficient of the dynamic fixed effect, and we uh, just accept this. Uh, uh, consistence of our uh, uh, when we uh, we accept our null hypothesis uh, it means that uh, the coefficient of our dynamic fixed effect is the uh, consistent coefficient so uh, we'll use the dynamic fixed effect in our interpretation as well we can uh, generate a log of uh, GDP uh, to run a model with uh, our dependent variable in log. We can run our foreign and our pull mean group indicator with uh, log GDP as dependent variable as previously. Here he take take probably more iteration in order to show the result and we also have the result uh, in the long run we can see that uh, according to this model with log uh, GDP uh, foreign direct investment also have negative impact uh, openness is not significant at 5% but at 10% at no significant at the uh, short run uh, among our coefficient can also see if whether or not the pool the mean group will converge in this case. Uh, it's the same same problem in valid new uh, verbal name. Okay, and then the correction is of predictor. So it's the same problem that previously we can estimate our dynamic fixed effect and we can see that in the long run, in the short run, there is no significant. But in the long run, we can see that according to our dynamic fixed effect, the uh, openness is uh, have a negative effect in the long, in the short run on the on the economic and the, on the GDP, but the effect on the, at the short and the long run is positive, but not uh, significant. So not significant. And we can also uh, look at uh, Hosman test as we did in the previously. So uh, we'll uh, say that we'll. Uh, Put the end to this uh, tutorial for now, and we hope you have been uh, very helpful uh, to you to understand how to estimate the panel here using the three main indicators that are poor mean group, mean group, and uh, dynamic fixed effect. And if you have not done yet, uh, do subscribe and activate the notification bell in order not to lose the next uh, video. And uh, let me thumbs up to help me to encourage me to produce more video to help you improve your skills in statistical model for social sciences.